Experiencing a real winter for the first time in my life has given me a new appreciation for spring. And although old man winter is still hanging on, signs of spring are beginning to creep in. Good morning. It is an absolutely stunning morning here in Utah. Believe it or not, it was dumping snow last night, pretty much all day yesterday, off and on dumping snow. And that's kind of how it's been the pattern. It's been dumping snow one day and then very beautiful the next. And at the elevation I'm at, it's melting off during the warmer days and it has been getting a little bit warmer, but then obviously dumping again. Today is a beautiful day, so I wanna take advantage of that and get outside. So I have a little plan for this afternoon to soak in some of this beautiful vitamin D, and it's gonna be at a very pretty location where I think I will make some lunch out of the back of the truck. It should be a really nice day. There are definitely signs of spring. The birds are coming back. The robins are back. The robins were gone all winter, but they're back now. I see little finches and all kinds of birds. The trees are starting to bud a little. So spring is definitely on the way. And the fact that the snow is melting so quickly is also a sign that spring is on the way. But I am definitely ready for it to be here once and for all. Some nice uh, 65, 70 degree days would be fantastic. Fantastic. It was only 20 degrees this morning, very cold still, but it is expected to warm up into the low 40s today, which is like a summer day around here. Anyhow, I'm going to get dressed, get some food packed up, and get ready for today's outing. definitely going to miss my road dog and occasional adventure buddy Birdie once I hit the road again, but they will be coming to visit me, no doubt.
How's this for a beautiful little spot to post up for a day camp? Bertie and I are just gonna be hanging out here having lunch by the lake. I am on doggy duty this week. My sister had surgery earlier this week, so she is recuperating and I am being a good auntie and keeping an eye on Bertie. She is my sister's pup. For those of you that don't know, she's a Brittany Spaniel and she is a very high energy dog. So I thought it would be great to get her out of the house, let my sister rest and recuperate and let her just run like a maniac. We are at Paiute Lake State Park and you might recognize this from a previous video where I did a truck camp out here, an overnight truck camp. Then the lake was frozen, but now it's uh, completely thawed, which is another sign that spring is here. So yeah, Bertie and I are just gonna hang out here. I'm gonna cook myself up a beautiful grilled cheese sandwich. We're gonna enjoy this awesome beauty all around us. It's not quite 41 degrees yet. <laughs> it's still pretty chilly in the 30s and the sun is behind the clouds, but I'm hoping that it pops out after a little bit and I can just soak in some rays. But we're gonna have a nice relaxing day here on the lake and uh, it's gonna be awesome. Thirsty, thirsty baby. I don't have my truck fully stocked with all my camping gear, but I brought just enough for this little day camp. We've got this awesome little camp kit. It's made by a company called Wheelers and it's got almost everything you need for cooking in here. It's, it's pretty incredible. I'm going to make myself a little gourmet grilled cheese gonna have bacon, tomato, three different kinds of cheese, and I'm gonna cook up some extra bacon for Birdie. She'll probably sit close by now because she smells this bacon. Here's what we got here. This beautiful sourdough bread, three kinds of cheese, Swiss, Munster, and medium cheddar, a tomato, and of course, bacon. Will be cooked in the bacon grease. Bacon's a little crispy, but that's okay. This bad boy is done. Look at that, yum. This looks so tasty. Mm. <gasps> Look what I got for the girl. Look what I got for the girl, some bacon. Yum, yum, yum. Here, there's a little bit more for you. Take a load off, baby. Take a load off. Mm-hmm. Relax. Just panting away like a mad dog. Just take a load off, baby. Your senses are 
highly alert. This is a little off topic, but I get a lot of questions about where I get my hats or clothes that I wear or this necklace that I'm wearing. And if I can, I do put uh, links below for these items, but some items I just went into a store and bought. So for instance, this hat I got at an IFA, which is kind of like a tractor supply. Um, probably people in Utah have heard of IFA. I'm not even sure what it stands for, uh, but they had this hat, which I was trying to find a hat to replace my old hat. A lot of people ask me where I got my old hat and I bought that at a little hat store up in Idlewild, California. It's a little mountain town in California. That one's seen better days. I've had it for years and years and I can't find one that's exactly like it. So I was in the IFA store and I found this one and that's where I got my new hat. So it's a little bit fresher and cleaner and uh, it's got lots of adventures ahead, I guess. For my necklace, I did get that from Amazon and there is a link below. I get a lot of questions about my necklace. And I'm gonna go ahead and go through all those links because a viewer told me that some of them are dead ends and I guess after years, you know, some are no good anymore. So I'll make sure I check those for you. And uh, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Hi, baby. Come here, come here. <laughs> the girl is plum tuckered out. The girl is plum tuckered out, huh? You just take it easy. Take it easy, baby. I know you're excited, but it's okay to rest. It's okay to get some rest. It's not quite as warm as I had hoped. I was hoping it would be full sunshine today, but it is absolutely beautiful. The sun's starting to poke out right now. Hopefully it stays out. Oh, that feels so good. I'm gonna get myself some hot cocoa going. Hot chocolate is tasty. It's finally warm enough to sit without my jacket on. The sun feels so good. I just saw somebody driving up towing a trailer. So I'm thinking they're probably going to want to come camp here. So I might pack up soon. Birdie is funny. She's a funny dog. She is on a tight schedule. She tells you when she wants to take her nap. She has to have a nap every day and she will vocalize that she wants to go to bed and she will tell you when she wants to go to bed at night. We're actually out here right now while it's her nap time. She's gonna sleep well tonight though, I think. That trailer moved up the hill, so maybe they aren't coming here after all. It might be time to get going here pretty soon. Birdie keeps finding these little gophers or something, they're dead, but I keep finding them in her mouth and I keep having to bury them with rocks. <laughs> she's getting, uh, I think she's getting tired and she probably wants to go home and take her nap. And then also someone posted up not too far from us and they're starting to play some thumping music. So that might be our cue to leave. It is a Friday and it is spring. So I think people are gonna start utilizing this place more than they have in the recent past when it's been freezing cold and snowy. 
I'll probably go ahead and just wrap up this video here. I thank you so much for joining me. This was just a little quick check-in while I had a down week. The adventures will be rolling again pretty soon. Like I said, there's lots of signs of spring and I think we're gonna start getting longer, warmer windows of weather soon. I also wanna get back to my sister and make sure that she's doing okay. We have about an hour drive to get there. If you want to send her some well wishes for a speedy recovery, go ahead and drop those below for Jill. I'm sure she'd appreciate it. I know she reads a lot of your comments. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for it to get warm for good, like I said earlier. Thank you for joining Birdie and I on this one. We've got some more bigger adventures coming soon, and I will see you all on the next one. I appreciate you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.